Okay, we were talking in the last video about the movement to the Van Gogh shoes. And uh, hopefully if I can get the technology working, the Van Gogh shoes will appear on the screen when I'm talking about them. I think Van Gogh painted two pictures of them. Um, and Heidegger interprets these shoes as if they're peasant shoes. And he talks about how we see in the shoes uh, the peasant woman's relationship to her day-to-day -day work, the reliability of the equipment of the shoes, and just get a sense of what, we get a feel in a, in a weird sense of what her life was like. That's what he's saying art can do. It can disclose a world by disclosing, this is the cool thing. So what artworks do is they disclose, of course, the tension between earth and world, world being meaning, possibility, earth being the concealed dimension of existence, right? But strangely enough, we can actually see the world of the peasant woman, according to Heidegger in these shoes, as the earth is disclosed in the artwork as concealed. Okay, the earthiness is something which comes out when, when I say the earth of these shoes. Uh, it doesn't mean the earth on the shoes or the mud or the dirt. It means the leather, the shoelaces, the actual tangibility, the material of it, if you will. But he doesn't want to use the word matter. He's thinking of the, the stuff that you just can't think about it. And you could almost say this. The disclosure of earth in the artwork, which is disclosed via the conflictual union between earth and world. This is what artworks do. They disclose the tension between world and earth, uh, you could almost say this disclosure of the tension between earth and world and earth as concealed is the beautiful. Uh, that is, the beautiful is when beings are illuminated in such a way, things are illuminated in such a way that they show themselves in their almost unthinkable character. Unthinkable character. So there's something not rational or thinkable that is subject to rational mechanistic thought that's disclosed in these uh, uh, in this artwork that how to use it as an example, uh, but rather the tension is disclosed between earth and world, and in disclosing the the earth as concealed, the world opens up of the peasant woman. So that's the way in which. So what does it mean to say earth and world? Rethinking, uh, of course, Aristotle's and the traditions uh, uh, matter form distinction. What does it mean to say the tension and the conflictual union between earth and world is disclosed in artwork? It means simply that the world is disclosed in the disclosing, in the revealing of the concealment as concealment, namely the earth as earth, as the unthinkable. So we're shown meaning itself, and we're given a subjective feeling, if you will, through this disclosure. And that's precisely what good artwork can do. Good artwork, we said, discloses a world. Great artwork, world's a world or creates a world. But this is a great work, a good work of art, or, uh, you know, a uh, small work of art, insofar as it discloses the world. It reveals to us, it allows us to connect, it, it interprets it for us. It allows us to interpret and feel what the, what the peasant woman is going through. Now, interestingly, uh, some uh, critics have brought up that uh, actually these are not uh, peasant women, uh, a peasant woman's shoes. Uh, Heidegger has the interpretation wrong. Actually, I think Van Gogh just painted his own shoes one day, right? Now, uh, how, what, what's the problem with that critique according to Heidegger? The point is, this is, this is the nature of art. It doesn't have to be literally true. That's, the, that's the, the genius of mimesis, what happens in art, that possibilities open up. Uh, in an artwork that it, it doesn't has necessarily have to represent the actual, the real. That's a that's a correspondence theory. Of, that's a uh, the correct idea. A truth is the correct idea of a, a, a the correctness of an idea corresponding to the reality. That's a correspondence theory of truth. That's a scientific idea of truth. That in order to have a correct interpretation of the artwork, you have to know what it's really about. It's interestingly, uh, if you've ever had a favorite song, uh, favorite work of art, this happens all the time. Artists write songs that they sometimes don't even know what they're about. And people read into them and are sure that these songs, that, that particularly love songs, are about um, uh, things. And people read them and think, no, 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 that song's about this. Uh, the Beatles had this problem all the time. Uh, one of the uh, uh, best examples here I'm thinking of is Hey Jude, which was written by Paul McCartney about uh, Julian Lennon. He wrote it on the way when Julie, uh, John Lennon and Cynthia Lennon were breaking up. Uh, Paul McCartney wrote a song, Hey Jude. Um, and John Lennon always thought Paul was communicating to him subconsciously through that song to say, it's okay, I support your decision. And people read, in other words, people read into these things, all kind of things. Another example of this I'm just thinking of off the top of my head is uh, Phil Collins in the air tonight. Uh, if you've ever heard that song, when the da 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 you know, the famous uh, drum beat. Uh, it was, there was this rumor before there was the internet and Wikipedia and you could, you could look up on song facts what songs were about. People used to say that was about Phil Collins' uh, somebody, him watching uh, his brother drown when he was a kid, and there was all this mythology about him. He's gone on talk shows subsequently and corrected that interpretation. 
But when asked what it was about, Phil Collins said, I have no idea what it's about. I just wrote it. It just came out. So many signs. We'll see how it gets to this in chapter three. Um, so many works of art, so many books, so many, um, well, books is a little bit different. Literature is a little bit different. But a lot of really good music is just sort of happens real fast. They're just written almost in 10 seconds or, or 10 minutes rather. And people don't even know what they're about. In other words, the point is uh, artworks are not about getting the correct interpretation of things. They're about disclosing a world via the conflictual union or a between a world and earth, i.e. the revealing of earth as concealed. Okay? Uh, I'll stop there now.